welcome back to Timberborn and let's try this again. So if you watched the last video, we had a colony wipe and our folktales colony all died off due to some bad management. So the overwhelming feedback in the comments was to try again. So that's what we're going to do. So we're going to go folktales. We're going to go Thousand Islands. We're going to go hard mode and we are going to try to not die this time. So I've had a bit of a ponder about things that I did wrong. There were some things that I realized very late on, too late on, as to how we could do things better. Um, I think one of the big problems was planting oaks because we waited so long for wood that in fact a lot of that died from the bad tides before we could actually harvest any of it. So um, many islands is lands too and pause so yeah the um of the things that i did wrong that i'm going to do differently so this island is going to look quite similar um i'm probably going to move the industry to be here so that we can uh, make use of the fact that some of this land doesn't get hydrated even in the temperate season um we're still going to have a farm that farms here but we're going to put in a secondary farm over here that makes use of the fact that this stays full of water pretty much at the moment. Um, so this island will have a mixture of farming and trees. The reason that I want to have a farm over here still and our water pumping will be over here is that if we get a bad tide before we can bridge between these, we don't want our food to be on an island we can't get to. So that's the plan. Um, we will put in some paths and things because we need paths and things. So that's pretty good. So actually, I'm going to change that. We're going to do that and we'll have a gap because we can fill the gap with stuffs just fine. We will have a path that goes that way too. Um, ideally, we want a path that goes across here, but we would have to delete some berry bushes and we don't have to do that yet. So we need a bunch of lumberjacks. We're going to do five lumberjacks and we'll have three builders to start to, uh, to get us going. I am going to put in the farm first because one of the problems was that that first temperate season, we need to get food planted as quickly as possible. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to plant that area with crops and you know, maybe this area that should be yeah that's, that, that's plenty um we need some gatherer flags i'm going to put in three but once they're built two of them will be paused we want to link up to over here and we want to link up here and we probably want a path that runs along here So next we need some water pumping ability and we need to actually take out a row of carrots. Ultimately, I think we want to have three water pumps on this island. So we're going to put in two of those to start with. So get those built. We need a bunch of water storage and I'm going to start off with a couple of, let's do a couple of three, such a, such a, a saying, kind of collo colloquial, is that the right word saying? Um, so we're going to do those, so those are all set to be water, so farm highest priority, a water pump next priority, a storage next priority and then we're going to deprioritize these that means they should build those the reason i've done three of these it means we can store another 60 blueberries and we can hopefully get these recycling faster um as let, let's hit the button as i said we will only actually have one of the food bits populated so go slightly faster than that i can't quite cope with single times speed 
So we also need to do this so that they cut them down. And first off, we will cut down as many of these trees as we can. So uh, let's pause those. So that's that. We probably at this point are already short of workers. So we will pause one of these. And uh, hopefully, yep, they are plowing, plowing into a farm. I know I'm funny, aren't I? Plowing wood into the farm. Whilst they are doing that, we can probably ease up on the number of lumberjacks now. And uh, I'll get a couple of more of those going. Um, until we have to do this, Bosch, maximum priority farming. That means we're going to drop down build prior builders to two. We will pause all of those for now and we have one spare so we can let you do your thing um and then while they're doing that we will come over here we will put in a lumberjack flag that can get everything to there we'll do another one there so get those built and then we also need to have inventors and uh Probably once we've got more space, I will move the inventor. But for now, the inventor will go over there and be a normal priority job. So and hopefully they are. Yep, our water pump is almost built because we do not have water. We will go to a 16 hour working day. And yeah, let's hope that we can get some stuff done. Once these are all planted, we'll focus on getting the blueberries picked. So let's say the, these start cycling through. Um, we will want to have a path that comes along something like this. That's kind of the plan as it stands at the moment. And they've nearly got all of the carrots planted. I do want to put in a warehouse for the carrots as well. Um, so that when we come to harvest, we're not limited to the 50 that the farm can store. That's that. I wish we could clear more of this area, but we do have to wait for the uh, the trees. So, but our kind of our next task, I'm going to make those lower priority. We don't really want people working in those yet. While while they can harvest these trees, we'll harvest these trees because that's where most stuff needs to be built. So, so you that's full so we'll then unpause it the farming is all done so we can uh, put in another woodcutter um, i think two builders is enough i think you know predominantly we are waiting on materials um but let's let's mark all of this side of the path to be cut um, but to your heart's content, young beavers. And uh, what we're going to do is into storage. And I want to throw in a couple of small piles set for logs. Logs. And let's get the second water pump and the storage is built and we need it we don't have water why are you not pumping water dude no, um i suspect we have too many jobs so we have nine beavers so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten that's pause one of you and let's pause a couple of you because you're not so needed now and uh yeah that should help out i think and, uh, yeah i guess we've got a bunch of thirsty beavers uh, not they're just it's the shelter that they're not happy about and um, unfortunately for now guys you are going to be homeless um we have other priorities so 
the next thing that I want to build is the second farm. So that is going to go here. And then once it's built, they're going to plant carrots all the way along there. We might not need both of these, but it's 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 a theory, okay? It's a theory. Go with it. Um, we've got a couple of beavers pumping now, which is good. Right, we want to make sure that both water pumping jobs are high priority. It's good. We are getting science. We do need to be thinking about unlocking a forester. And the other thing that we are going to think about, I'm just going to slow time down again so I can think, is uh, we are going to attempt to put in the sawmill where I actually want it. That might mean that the paths are a little bit random at the moment, although that works. That works, that won't work, that won't work. How do we join that up to a path? Um, I guess once they've cut that tree down, you can maybe snake around the back there or come up here. And, uh, yeah. so we could actually delete you and pause you and we are three days from the ground and we are less than two days from having food so that's kind of good that's kind of good so yeah we can join that up now and uh that works so i i do want to start thinking about housing so i'm guessing that's not quite full but we'll, we'll make the switch that one's pretty full so let's go into that one these we actually have a couple spare beavers um, it's surprising so let's unpause one of you and uh you're sat on your backside doing now so but now we are short a beaver so we'll do that and we'll get this planted as well this is much earlier in my plan than expected and uh we're now waiting for the 60 science we need to unlock the forester so i think probably with a drought coming it's worth having another um scientist inventor as well um just so that we can uh, we can get that done that's all of that planted so they can be paused you see we've got three spare beavers and not really any jobs for them to do so we could think about putting in the second the third water pump we could think about that except i've been a bit dumb there and can't really link it up that way so Yep, that's that plan kind of scuppered. Um, my alternative location is to stick it up here because this gets water slightly quicker, but we need some of these trees to be cut down first. So, yep, there's that. We have 25 logs. You can be paused. We still need quite a lot of logs. So I'm not going to put in any housing yet. Uh, we should unpause that and we should focus on harvest. We do not want them to replant because it's not going to regrow in time. This one will keep growing. So that's cool. Um, you can be paused. Okay. Yep, let's get food harvested. Harvest die. I don't know. The other place that I would consider putting a water pump is over here where we've got water flowing through and uh, becoming clean quite quickly because once we put in our bad water protection this is going to be quite slow flowing water so quite slow to clear up they are all done so you can be paused always click on the beaver not the uh the thing kind of annoying but hey is what it is so we've almost got enough science in fact is it 60 or 70 science it's 60 science so we have enough science so let's place down our forester there's the drought so, um, now 
unpause you, we'll pause and pause. And so hopefully we should get all of those carrots harvested before they dry out. Um, we've got a couple of days, so we should be okay to get those harvested. Um, we will unpause you. We need seven planks, I believe, to be able to build the Forester. And then, so the plan is that for now, and I could actually draw it out, couldn't I? That would probably be sensible. We are going to plant in the area that is hydrated naturally. We're kind of there. That's where we want to plant, apart from the fact that probably I will look at putting some sort of water dump thing in here. So slightly longer term goal. Actually, we could probably get away without doing that for a bit and focus on some other things. So still got plenty of time for those and those are growing. So that's kind of cool. Um, how are we doing for planks? We need five more so if you guys could do your thing and then we can pause you you can be a low priority job um so my next goal for science is the levy and starting to protect ourselves from bad tide um interesting i'm half we don't have a way of getting down if we had a way of getting down i'd be tempted to go out and cut those down but you know uh, we don't need to at the moment and we are okay for water right you're done so let's pause you we uh we don't need any more planks at the moment and what we need to do now is plant pine trees and say i want to plant pine um i think that's more sensible so if we get a bunch of pine in we can uh we probably need to not plant a few down here so we can get some lumberjack flags in and I'm going to that is all preset to be cut which is awesome we have a spare beaver still which is cool you can all be paused now so uh, that's good we have some log storage which is also good those are cropping up now I know I know it's good isn't it it's very good um so uh, yeah we've got plenty of food we've got water we haven't got plenty of water so um something that we will work on is our water storage and i really so probably we will be running across here so if i put that path there um so that's probably going to have our levee wall kind of like we got built last time but didn't really help us because we were too late with the construction so i'm really liking these pit tanks you get twice the capacity but it's two less logs than building two of these so with where we are with things i think that's a good idea so we're going to stick one of those there and start increasing our water capacity and I've got these guys replanting because we want these crops to cycle. We do need them to, uh, to be cycling through. You can be paused because no trees are going to grow like that. Um, once we get into longer droughts, um, I will be making use of the fact that we can plant in here like I did last time again. So that will be a thing that we try to to work on. Um, and as I said, long term, I do want to put in something up here for hydration. That probably means we will lose one of these rows of trees. But for now, I think getting as many trees growing as possible is key. So I'm actually curious. So about I've got a question for you guys. When I block this area off to protect us from bad tide, aside from refilling this, actually it's sort of beneficial to have this dry because it's a nice big area so first drought survived we had two water left which is why and i say we we really need more water storage we need to get those guys replanting so um, i'm going to deprioritize so both of the sciences are deprioritized researchers um and that leaves us missing two 
jobs. I think at the moment we can afford, I guess the two jobs we're missing are science. So that's okay. That is okay, actually. I'm not too worried about that. And once all these carrots are harvested, we can switch this farm off and that will free up some beaver power. So I think we're good there. Um, so yeah, I think the next thing that we need to worry about is water storage. So, um, and the plan is, so let's, let's unlock the levy because we can unlock it now. So we're going to go across there. Um, I'm going to make most of that a low priority job for now. It is going to have a path along it. And the reason I've only low prioritized some of it is I think we can take advantage of more of these pit tanks and stick a couple of those there. And uh, yeah, we probably don't have the wood grown at the moment, but we will. So, and then I think the next job we want to start thinking about is housing and well-being. So um, we will get to the point where our beavers start dying of old age. And that will cause us a problem. So um, I think it would be very sensible to have housing for the 12 beavers that we are currently relying on. That needs 24 logs. We have very few trees. I am going to prioritize those because I'm worried that if we leave it too long, we won't have replacement beavers coming through so yep and we are short three jobs at the moment so let's pause one of the tree cutters and then the two jobs we're short will be the two science dudes so that can be paused now that's all planted these guys are still working but food is really good water is not so good but we basically just need to get pumped um, the other thing that we can now think about doing is either, and I'm kind of tempted to go this route, we take out these um, so we can put paths in and we put a water pump down here somewhere. You can see this has very nice fast flowing water and it's really good. Um, I'm going to probably focus on power wheels and then windmills for my power for this kind of thing so yep we, uh, we have reached well-being four because we've given them houses i know i'm such a generous overlord we are three days from another drought which means we will get our next crop of carrots in which means we looks like we might need more storage for them so um another medium warehouse going in over here now let's do that um yeah having the two farms is is clearly very good for the food situation but we do need more water pumping capacity i think so wondering do we want to do something like that or do we want to then clear this area i think we want to clear this probably all of that and then we'll go water, water pump. We're going to put a water pump there and we'll have some space for some storage and stuff to go with it, which will be cool. Uh, we're up to 180 water stored, which is really nice. And we, oh, let's just drop down. We've got capacity for 210 at the moment, which is pretty nice. So I'm pretty pleased with that. The reason that I'm not thinking about irrigation immediately is running out of water for the beavers to drink is a bigger problem than uh than with with this natural pond here we've got a really you know we've got a, a forest that's growing we've got a farm that's self-sustaining there we might not need this farm for a bit but it will be useful to have in the future we uh we could think about putting a path across here as well um i kind of have some ambitions to make use of this for power eventually initially it's going to be windmills so yep uh, okay we're really we're really waiting on wood to grow at this point um so 
And the sooner that would grow in, the better. We probably don't actually need this part here now. This was really just to be able to draw out that um, hydrated area when when we're in drought. So, yeah, a few more trees cropping up. It's brilliant. We've got all of our houses built. We've got most of our water storage built. We need one more log to finish that tank, and that's going to give us, what, 270 water storage, which is pretty nice. I'm going to build this extra water pump just here. And uh, what I'd like to do, I think, is then put a couple of small water tanks just there. So the things that I did really badly last time, well, we've got carrots to harvest. Harvest away beavers, a harvest away. So you can be paused and then R2 are our science which is fine so and technically you could be paused as well so we can have a little bit of science going on uh we've got two farmers in this one three in this one they will be set to prioritize harvesting not planting so get stuff cleared although we are kind of full so um really we need to prioritize building this warehouse so we've got somewhere to put the carrots um and yeah we don't have a lot of space for carrots at the moment so it is an issue it is an issue um like you guys can be paused and maybe we can have i was gonna say we have an extra builder but the builders don't really have much to do so maybe we don't need an extra builder you might be wondering why I don't pump water out of here. I want this to be enough to keep things sustained. We could now put a carrot crop down here, but we don't really need to. We've got over 300 carrots. So um, we'll focus on getting these harvested and then we'll repeat the cycle. But yeah, I want this to stay as full as I can so that we can make progress on, uh, on that. We've got six more days to go on the the trees. And really, at this point, it is just a case now of waiting for the wood to grow. So in the interests of making some progress in the video without it being really long, I'm going to, to jump ahead to the point where the trees have grown in unless something goes wrong. See you very shortly. So time has progressed. We've got about three days left of the drought, but the first of our pine trees are just coming up. So what I think we should do is we don't need to have that farmhouse busy, which means we can unpause you two and still have science going. We're actually getting a nice stock of science, which is good because there are science things that we are going or in research. There are things that we are going to need to unlock. I want to, that's been built anyway. I just want to nudge the priority up on those. We'll get those two built. Um, and then I think we will start working on the barriers. So um, probably what I can do is make that normal priority. Um, the other barrier is going to come across here, but not all the way. So I'm going to do that. So we'll, we'll put them all in because I want to put it somewhere else. We're going to put in some pod gates so that we can let water through here. So we need to go into landscaping and unlock the single floodgate, which is 150 science, which we had. So we're good. Um, and yep, so we're getting now trees starting to come up and be replanted. And we we are far from having a, a robust wood supply, um, but we have a wood supply. So the, uh, yep. And that's where I'm wondering if you can see this area has stayed, you know, the water's hardly evaporated in this pond because it's quite big. Um, 
what I'm actually toying with um, is is putting some floodgates or some levees across here so that we can fill this pond up. If we want, we can then have water just push down that way and come down that way. And that will green up a whole load of this area that we could then grow food and trees on. At least in the short term. That's probably better than relying on a water dump. I think. Until we get into much longer droughts when we need this to be much deeper. Um, that's kind of what I'm thinking. So we've got our new water pump with its two storages of its own. So we've got three water pumps now and we've got the ability to store 330 water. At the moment, we can only have 12 beavers. We've actually only got nine that are grown up because we had a few die of old age. So if I go to my calculator, uh, we do 330. It was 330, wasn't it? Divided by 12 times. I think it's two and a half. That's enough for 11 days worth of drought, which sounds a lot, but probably isn't enough. So, um, what I'm going to do, we have a ridiculous amount of carrots actually at this point. Um, is I'm, I think I'm just going to let these guys farm. And uh, we want to unpause and high prioritize our water pumping. And you can see it does take a good while for the water to make it down from this massive waterfall. Uh, but we have 110 water, so that's not a problem. Um, trees are, are cycling through now, which is good, um, but it will take a while for the new batch to grow. Um, the last of these ones are, are almost done, and then we can get rid of our lumberjacks and our messy path and all that kind of thing, tidy that area up. And uh, yeah, I, I can't do it. I've got a I've got a plant crop in there for you. Uh, how are we at the point where we are short five beavers? Yes. We'll have one less builder, one less wood cutter, and that leaves us with four. So three so we'll have one left of you and then the two missing are from the researchers which is fine we've got plenty of research we've got everything unlocked that we need um again we're now just at a point where we need to cycle through the jobs and those jobs being um go back to harvest priority now getting trees grown keeping food and water stocked up um yeah, that, 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 that's pretty much it, really. You know, that, that's, that's pretty much where we are. Um, we can cut down those two trees. We have one more, which is almost grown in there. It is so, and one there, which is 70%. Okay, so we're going to have to wait a little while, but um, that'll be okay. So I'm pondering, because I like to ponder, growing in one extra house to give us a few more beavers. Um, so we need to unpause that one we do need to uh, to get these crops harvested and one thing that I'm thinking about as soon as we've got these two bill is starting to grow some potatoes so we'll need to put in a grill and the grill needs logs to be built so that's that's why I'm, I'm thinking that um, yeah but I really do like the idea of, uh, of creating something across here so we can fill this and then have water essentially go this way. I'm not sure how well that will work. Um, that might not work. No. We'll have to see. We could just let some water through, get that to fill up and then close that up again. You know, that would work. That would work. That's that's that built. We need to put this last one in so that we've got a way across in case we get a bad tide. So what this means is we have a pretty solid water supply now. We have a good food supply 
and we almost have a route between the two islands but we now have a route between the two islands that doesn't need us to go into the water so that's all pretty brilliant the next thing we need to do is put a path across here so that we can build the far end of this and i've just noticed that um, some of them are a different way around and that although i'm not no i'm not gonna say it that will bug me it will bug me a lot so let's do that um and i want to prioritize building this end if you want to prioritize building that and those first so that means we need our planks going we need 15 planks to build those two floodgates um, you can already see that we are changing the water dynamics and that this area is now not getting water into it so uh, that is a thing but we're going to get another crop of carrots off here we are going to be sat with a huge excess of carrots i think um, which is fine. I'd rather have way too much food. Um, at the moment, I don't particularly want to build more storage for food. My my focus, if I was to build more storage, would be to build more water storage. Um, and the way I would do that is I would throw in a few more of these. These feels like feel like really good value. They're not taking up land that we're using. And uh, yeah, and that's 120 logs, which is a lot of trees, which should be going into this building project. But yeah. You know, is what it is we uh so we need to get that one done so that we can then build the rest of these but they're also working on getting those floodgates built but we have a drought so we're okay right these can all go now so delete 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 and delete and we can tidy up this path so what we're going to do is we're going to run a path all the way along there we can delete that we can delete that delete that to be honest, we can just delete this path all of the way down. That can go. Let's unpause you. Let's get you harvesting. No. Oh, you can be paused. Let's get some of these carrots. So no. I don't. I really don't think we have. No, we have almost no storage. So that was kind of a waste of effort. We'll see how we get on. We've got a day and a half of water, so they can eat some of these and uh, that'll be okay. We'll be okay. So how are we looking over here? We have... We're kind of now at the point where we're pulling... Logs that we're cutting are going into plank production and we need the logs to build stuff. So what we didn't put in, I was silly was our two lumberjacks down here so we will pause you because you can't reach where we need to get to we will high prioritize you and then well we'll just low prioritize one of the workplaces and that should take care of itself then um once they build that one someone should come over push that up cut those trees down because you need trees to build stuffs so yeah I'm feeling much more comfortable this time. So we've got lots of food. We've got quite a lot of water. We can probably pause two of those now. One should be enough to keep the tanks topped up, um, which is great. And uh, yeah, food warehouse is full. These are getting built, which is great. Uh, we need four more planks. We have two, so we need two more planks. So we can just keep an eye on this guy. He has the logs. It has the logs it needs, so they can, they will get done, which is brilliant. And uh, yeah, I'm. Uh, we're in a much better place. We're in a much better place. So the drought has started, but it doesn't really matter. Um, what we could do actually, I were down here. Hey, I said about doing it. Let's let's go cut these free bits of wood down, shall we? Um, if it's stupid, but it works, it's not stupid. Remember, so let's cut some trees, and uh, yeah, okay. you can reach all of the big trees. So make it so, make it so. Um, 
I'd completely missed those when we played before. I mean, it's not that many logs, but it is some logs each. Oh, we've got some broken teeth. So we need to put in, well being, a, a teeth grindstone. Let's put that over there. We'll high prioritize the building of that because we don't really want injured beavers. Do we have a couple of those? No, we don't. But we don't, we don't want a beaver with broken teeth. That would be bad. Uh, so we've got all of the planks that we need. In fact, we've got more planks than we need. So you can both be paused. I still think two builders is enough, particularly with only 10 adult beavers. So, um, and really, we could probably do with having a... Um, hopefully, they should build that one next, and then we'll prioritize these. We could probably do with having a campfire. Um we could probably do with picking all those blueberries before we get a bad tide but we don't really have anywhere to store them now we could be a bit cheaty we could um and what we could do is we could do that and we could just bung in a bunch of gathering flags because that gives us about about a load of storage that's a technical term that's a technical term we don't need you working now for you to pump uh, so a five day drought so we've got yeah we've got loads of water um, I'm just going to let these guys pick these drying out carrots before we worry about these ones and uh, yep he's cutting down these trees and they're going into these so that's been built so let's prioritise up these ones because they can build that one from the side needs to be zero and is when the drought starts it's going to go up to one when a bad tide starts it's going to go up to actually when a drought starts it really doesn't matter and then when drought ends it's going to go to zero when a bad tide ends we'll manage it manually and uh yeah that's that's it we need to have these as levies because we need this to be a bridge or a causeway across until i've got more materials and we can do something else all right you can be paused you can be unpaused. And uh, I've actually got a few trees. So let's pause you and let's unpause you. And uh, I've got one tree left over here to cut down. And uh, then we can. There he goes. Or she. Zashi. Yeah. Easy for me to say. There we go. So there are no more logs in there so that can go which means this weird extended path can go and we can put back in the levee there we go so that's cool we'll uh pause a couple of you with short four beavers i guess one what are we doing here let's have a look Look, can I tell that part? We plant dead trees not marked for cutting. I've not seen that function before. Um, no, my uh, my my sleep deprived brain is is not processing that well. Right, let's pause you. Uh, how many builders have we got? We've got two builders, right? Pause you. Pause you uh we've got one so two we only got one in there that's okay as long as no, we need we need tree cutting dude we need tree cutting dude we need tree planting dude we are just gonna do that no we can't do that we need we need your building we need your building buddies so let's do that so that goes we're uh we're kind of on a knife edge with the population at the moment we've got a lot of resources we just need the population to grow i say we've got a lot of resources we've got a lot of food and we've got a decent water supply um we're not at the point where i would consider us having a good log supply yet so and that could be a while that could be a while uh, I guess it's because we've got all of these. Forgotten about all those. I'll unpause a couple of those. Yeah. 
go back to two builders. We can have some clients going on. It's in drought time. We shouldn't have been short of resources just because I was a bit dumb. But we did clear all of those berries off, which is brilliant. Because that means we've got even more food stocked up in reserve. So, which I like. I like this is getting built. This should get built definitely before we get a bad tide so that's pretty awesome we are we are in a much better place than last time what are the differences getting this putting a food farm here and not just going for growing oaks because you know we're on our second cycle through pine uh, which is i think pine is 12 days yeah so we're on our second cycle through pine whereas we wouldn't have had any of the oak through yet so that's a big part of it, I think. Is that a tree on the very end set to be cut? It is. I just need to get to it. That's okay. Yeah. So for me, I think for me, that's a big part of it that we uh, we did have. We have had wood come through. We've got regular food, and that's meant we've been able to build things and progress. Um, I I do think that we want to look at some well-being now, so that our beavers are. Our, our juvenile beavers are growing up quicker. Our, um, our adult beavers are happier. It's so annoying that you can't just put that on the ground. It has to be above ground. Um, we don't have staircases yet to be able to build one of those. So let's get that built. Can we unlock? So you could unlock. We could put showers. So allegedly. It's not that I don't trust people. Allegedly, showers don't consume water. It just says they require access to water. So we could put showers in here. We could take some of this food out because we have more than we need. Um, so I think we might do that. We're going to come down here and then we do that. We can put in a few showers. That, that's probably not a bad thing. Decoration could help as well. Um, drought has ended. That's 120 science for a hammock. But we could put a hammock there. We need a couple of planks and a couple of logs. That's that's not beyond beyond the achievable. We could actually put a few of those in. So let's do that now. We've unlocked them. Uh, was that under decoration it was? There we go. Let's put in a couple of those. Get them built. So if we can push the well-being up, the beavers live for longer. If the beavers live for longer, everyone's happy. So that's good. We've got that in now, which is brilliant. Really happy with that. We've got our water storage is going in. Um this is rehydrating but i i really don't think we should be planting more potatoes here or more carrots here i think we should be getting into planting potatoes um and i think probably what we should do is um we don't have that many beavers at the moment i'm thinking that we unplant those carrots as well and we plant these as potatoes so that's my thinking that's my thinking and uh, let's get that finished awesome so that's done so this is going to change the dynamics again because now fresh water can only come in through here and it's probably going to run out here so one of the next things that i think we should do is we should think about blocking this area off now at least temporarily so and I think we can probably use levees to do it. Uh, 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 do something like that for now. And that will push the water through here. And I think that's probably a good thing. I say probably because I'm not certain. Um, we, uh, yeah, we've got our hammocks in, which is cool. Are they making any difference to our well-being? Let's have a look. They do not appear to be. Well done me for picking the thing that doesn't seem to make any freaking difference. 
Uh, and in terms of wet fur bonus, I was talking about putting in showers and we're actually getting it during the wet season anyway, because most of them are having to walk through the water to do stuff. Uh, let's just harvest those few carrots that are here. Um, then we will tell them not to, to plant this area anymore for now. Um, and yeah, with, with that in mind, I am questioning the the common sense of building showers. Uh, maybe we build one. Uh, we've got the science for it. Yes, let's build a couple. Actually, there we go. And we'll see. We can always uh, we can always stop them, I guess. So, um, but yeah, food is good. Oh, we didn't unpause water, and we're three days in. That's not so good. That is not so good. No. You can be paused. I'm gonna delete it yet. So we've got our we've got a fireplace in. We've got four kits now who are hopefully gonna grow up pretty quickly because we are We're fairly short of, of, of beaver power at the moment. So we are fairly short of beaver power. Need those to grow. So yeah, we're gonna do one more shower there. And then we're going to start growing a small crop of potatoes. Now, you don't need to be in there. And we are perfectly balanced for our work gain. So we are out of trees for building things, which is a bit annoying. But hey, we're in a pretty good place, actually. We're in a pretty good place. You're probably going to lose game sound for a moment. You might not notice because uh, of the way things that I edit things. Because I'm curious as to how long I have been playing. So we're coming up to a just under an hour, which is cool. Um, we've made pretty solid progress, I think. Um, really, I uh, am... Um, and we have a bad tide approaching, so this is going to be good. This is going to tell us how bad this is going to get when the bad tide comes, because bad water is going to come all the way up to here. Um, common sense maybe says I should have built this wall back here, but it would have had to be a bit longer. Um, we might do that in the next iteration of our flood defences. Um they really do nothing for the beavers that's so so annoying that i picked the wrong thing completely so um we need to start thinking about improving things we need to put in the potato grill so let's stick one of those let's stick it next to the science and uh With how many potatoes we're growing, that should be fine. I bet our carrot storage is full. Not quite. Almost. So, uh, I'm going to low prioritize this wall. We don't need it super urgently. Uh, it would probably be nice to get the wet fur stuff going on. Weird that that one hasn't dropped a pipe. I guess we'll see in a moment. Um, we do need a few more planks. Uh, Let's get a few more planks going, shall we? Uh, water supply is good, even though I screwed up and started late. That was uh, me being a little bit dumb and uh, yeah, not not really thinking far enough ahead with uh, with how I did things. Just had to have a little pause for a drink. Talking for so long is kind of kind of thirst inducing. That's a good word. Good phrase. Let's bung in as we go from good words to bad words. Let's bung in those extra potatoes. So yeah, we've got our showers now, um, which is cool. Yeah, and so at, when the bad tide hits, obviously they're not going to get the wet fur bonus from running along here. So it's okay. And uh, we'll see how long the drought's going to be. It, here's a, a sneaky one. If we got a nine-day drought, we could grow some trees down here. Except that this is probably going to be fairly contaminated with uh, with the bad water flowing straight past it, so we can uh, we can pause those. 
that'll be good uh let's unpause you so we get all of these no we need to unpause that guy actually so we need to we we should get these replanted but there is a very good chance they will all die off um i really really instant regret not building the the, the barrier back here that is a definite regret we could work on moving it um and then we could recover most of the resources i guess um we would need to unplant some trees so we could get a path back there but i, th I think honestly that's probably sensible our floodgates have gone up so there we are we are protected from the bad tide uh we can pause that and uh yeah our our new colony i'm just gonna grab a thumbnail yeah, I kind of like that. Our new colony is now sort of robust to the bad side. You can see if we had the barrier across here, I think we'd be a lot better. I think a lot of this is going to die off. Um, but, you know, I know it is what it is. We, uh, we've made our bed. We're in a much better place than we were last time. Um, you know, we're at our first bad tide and we've not had a uh, an extinction event yet. I'm saying yet. Every chance I will. I will manage to snatch defeat from the jaws of victory. So we've got a four day bad tide, so we can't really grow anything down here. Um, but, you know, if we had a long bad tide, we could we could plant birches right here. And uh, we're losing a few of these losing a few of these actually we should jump in the forester it was in here wasn't it there was the option to replant dead trees not marked for cutting i'm going to put that on um because we are you know we, we we're, we're growing some still which is good um we have some resilience to the bad tide but we we really do i think want to we could we could work our way around the back but i think it's better to have a path here and probably go all the way across here it'll take a lot more lumber um and if we had both we could actually trap water in here and that would keep this hydrated which would be sensible um the other project that i think we want to start doing is i we don't need you running particularly apart from the fact that i want to unlock the gear workshop um and i think we're going to put one of those in and start working on building that it does need a lot of planks um but we need gears for my longer term plan so yep my longer term plan is to have another wood workshop here and then some windmills up here. That's the long term plan. Our carrot supply is just not reducing, is it? It's very persistent. It's very persistent. We do need to get the, uh, the lumberjack replanting. Because uh, our, our plantable area is smaller at the moment, which, you know, it's okay. Okay, we need to make sure we have a recipe set there for grilled potatoes. Yeah. Why won't you cut down? Did I? I unmarked them for cutting, not planting. Jeez. That was clever, wasn't it? Don't answer that. Please. But yeah, I think if we can build across here and then keep water in there we potentially can farm and by farm i mean tree farm a much bigger area in there so um i think we'll start off with levying across most of it, all of it, and then we'll come in and delete some and put in some more floodgates, and that'll give us a 
the water buffer will hopefully mean that this doesn't get contaminated and in droughts keep a lot of this area hydrated. Eight well-being, that's pretty awesome. That's pretty awesome. We're up to 14 beavers once the kits have grown up. We've got potatoes now. We've got grilled potatoes. Like that a lot. Uh, we might not have enough to keep that bonus up, but you know. Yeah, so we've almost got our gear workshop. The next thing will then be another lumber mill. And we've got plenty of science actually, so let's just go for it. We're going to go high power shaft. Yes. And we're going to go windmill because the large windmill we don't have the materials for. But that's going to give us potentially 150 horsepower, which is not quite enough by a long actually 50 100 we need we need we need a bit more but that will give us some of the power we need to run all of this which will be cool so pretty pleased with that bad tide has ended so that's good um so yeah we now need to you can see it takes a while for the uh for everything to clear out which is why I put this one here, because I think he will start getting water pumping much quicker than uh, we can risk opening this up. And again, this is why having this as a... Uh, the alternative is we kind of try and flush this through. Um, and what we'll do is we'll desynchronize and we'll just try letting... No, no, I don't want bad water to get in there. That's, that's a flaw in the plan. Um, and again, here we've got a similar thing. So this may still cause us a problem. This may still cause us a problem unless we just let it flush through. Um, let's do it. No, no, no. What we need to do is we need to delete this path so that they are not going down into that area first and then we can do it come on let's take the little bit of pain and uh hopefully it will all flush through and be okay it's at the moment there's some bad water in there but it's it's not enough that it's affecting the crops we've got such a good food supply that i'm not worried about reactivating this farm this this area is keeping our our crops good uh, so that's cool the uh the flow through is a little bit slow so that is an issue and that's why i wanted to put this in but until we've we've got rid of the pinkiness down here we, uh, we need to need to not have that um we have a drought approaching, so that will fix it. This this has been filled up. It's relatively fresh water, so that's okay. We can then get this built um, and we'll be good. Hopefully you're replanting all of the trees that we need planting. Um, we are short four beavers at the moment. Is that because we have? Yeah, we don't need you. Uh, I guess we're just short beavers at the moment. It is, it is what it is, as I keep saying. Uh, so I think that water looks clean enough that we can risk having a path through it again. Yeah, that's okay. we can do that. And uh, yeah, I think now we want to get them back on building this. And then we'll worry about building this mega project. This is This is a big thing that we need to build, so yeah. And I don't think that we can get enough that we could keep this whole area flooded so that we could, you know, have a nice um, big pond. But I don't think that's going to work for us. But And, you know, ultimately, I guess they can't build that because there's no path there. It would be nice if we could have... I don't want a wooden stair. Um, 
it would be nice if we could have you know a water dump up here but if we can fill this with water this will irrigate quite a lot of this area i think so mm -hmm. yeah i think that's a better idea but i want this in so that when we next get bad tide we can flush things through if we need to if we haven't got this built um and that was me really not Want, wanting something quick to quicker to build this is going to take quite a bit more wood to build but we'll be better in the long run so we'll be better in the long run. um but yeah we've we've survived our first bad tide we've got a really good food supply um you know we're not growing quite enough potatoes but yeah i'm not too worried about that we could probably now now all of this area can be built on we can pull we do need the gear workshop running actually we need a gear to uh build that and then it's planks and logs so i can't i don't have any haulers so i can't prioritize them doing this yet but that will mean once we've got that built we don't need to have a beaver running in it do we and we can look at some of the larger storages and things like that yeah and probably yeah that doesn't need to be running at the moment we've not we'll wait until we've got a stock of potatoes grown and then we'll run that um that's nearly built nearly built um but I, I think cycle five over. Start off a six-day drought. We, yeah, I'm pretty sure we've got plenty of water. We've got decent amount of food. So I'm happy there. Really, what we need to start working on is is wood supply. Really, what we need to start working on weather. We start to cycle some of these into be oaks. Um, because although they take longer to grow, they are more efficient time wise. Um, maybe we do that. Maybe we. Uh, we just slowly cycle in some oak trees. I think that might be beneficial. I'm not sure if that those two that I've just planted. In fact, I don't think they're worth planting because I don't think that area is hydrated until we get this built. Um, so the the next order of operations is finish building this so that if we get another bad tide before we build this, we can flush it through easier because um, it will push the water through that way. Um, then we try and build this that means that we can store some water in here. We are going to struggle to store a lot. You can see that when we're into a drought now, but generally the water is not very deep. Um, to make it deeper, we would have to start blocking off bits up here. Not, It's non-trivial to make the water deeper on this map. So, But we could store some water in there. That might help us out. We'll have to see. Uh, yeah, anyway. Let me know what you think of the reboot. Um, that seemed to be the popular opinion. And uh, if you enjoyed it, click the like button. And I will see you next time.